hey guys welcome back to my channel for this video i will be explaining the explicit formula for the arithmetic progression or some would say the arithmetic sequence so in order to write the explicit formula guys we need to know the general form for the arithmetic progression which is a n equal a subscript one where a one is the first term plus n minus one times d or a subscript n is equal to a1 plus d times n minus 1. And we know that a n is the nth, represents the nth term. a1 is the first term. We know that n is the term we are trying to find or the term position. And d is the common difference. And the common difference will be the difference between the second term and the first term. All right, guys, let's get right into it. Also, we need to know the common difference and to know how to find that and to know to identify the first term. All right, guys, so if we are given this sequence to find, to write the explicit formula, first we need to know the general formula a n is equal to a subscript 1 plus d times n minus 1. So you see, guys, the d is being multiplied by the bracket, so the d can be written at the front or at the back as I did in the instruction right here. And so the D can be written anywhere. So it doesn't really matter guys because it's multiplying. You can write it to the front or to the back. All right guys, whether it is negative or positive. So let's put the D right here. So we need to know D. So that's a common difference between 60 and 65. We know it's been subtracting five and it's subtracting five continuously. And so negative five is going to be the common difference. Your first term, which is a1, is equal to 65, because that's the first one you're given right here. And so that's 65. So knowing those, these two things, guys, we can put it into the general form. So a n is equal to a1, 65, plus d here is a negative, let me just write it down, negative 5 in bracket n minus 1. And so, guys, we need to distribute this bracket to simplify. You see me put the 5 in bracket here, guys, because it's a negative. And the rule for integers is a negative, a positive times a negative results in a negative. So right here will be a negative answer. But I just wrote this down so you see exactly what I did. So negative 5 times a positive n is a negative 5n. Negative 5 times a positive 1 is a positive Five. Let's simplify this, guys. So it's 65 sub plus 5. I'm going to write it out. Some grouping like terms here. So it's going to be uh, 70 minus 5n. So this right here is our explicit formula. And this is basically telling me that this is also my equation for the nth term. All right, guys, that means any number I put in here, I would get the successive number. So let's try one that we have here already. So if, what if I want to find the A2, which is the second term, guys? And so if I put 2 in this equation, I should get 60 for my answer. So let's check it out. So A2 is equal to 70 subtract 5 times 2. Why 2? Because 2 is the second term. And N represents the term you're trying to find. And so... 70 subtract 10 is equal to 60. See that, guys? And A2 here is 60. And so it is basically proven that it's correct. Let's go for another one, guys. So remember, you need to know the general form. So AN is equal to A1 plus D times N minus 1. They gave us A1 to be 2 right here, guys. And so 2 plus D, they gave us to be 3. So it's 3, n minus 1 is equal to, let's check it out. So we need to remove the bracket right here. So 2 plus 3n minus 3, because it removed the bracket. So it's 3 times n, 3n, 3, 3 times negative 1, negative 3. So let's simplify with a negative 1 plus 3n. And so that, again, is our explicit formula. So it's pretty simple, guys. So let's identify the general formula or the general equation for the arithmetic progression and substitute what you know into the general form. So A1 here is 13. 
B is negative 5 and N minus 1. Again, we're going to distribute this. And so, guys, it's be always best to simplify the expression or, the, the, in this case, the equation because that helps us to bring clarity because some persons are, get confused when they work with more than one terms. And so, doing this is very important. So, it's 18 minus 5N. And so, there we go for our explicit Form. So the main goal of this lesson was for you to identify the general form and to know how to find the common difference and how to identify your first term. So given these two things, you can always find the explicit formula for any given arithmetic sequence or progression. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. To my channel. I'm talking too fast. To my channel. And I'll see you on the next.